What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Mooney Mercury Baby podcast where we talk about real shit, spiritual shit, and all kinds of shit in existence. <coughs> and excuse the low energy. Uh, I just had to redo this whole fucking video. Well, not the whole thing. I wasn't that deep, but I was like going for like five minutes, and I noticed that at 25 seconds, the shit stopped recording. <coughs> <clears throat> so I'm gonna keep my eye on that goddamn clock right there. But anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna get into some astrology today, y'all. We're gonna jump right back into the Deacons and Cusp series. Yeah, I know it's been a minute since the last one. That was like four months ago. Uh, part four, Cancer. Now we're gonna do part five, Leo. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it before Leo season ends. So it's the perfect time to fucking do it. So let's jump right into it. To repeat what the fuck I just said. Goddamn. Anyway, okay. Let's jump into the first one. The Cancer Leo Cusp. So zero degrees Leo to two degrees Leo. If the, if you have those degrees in your sun sign or your moon sign or your ascendant or anywhere else in your chart, but mainly your sun sign, it's the most importantly, or your moon or, or ascendant, pay attention. Zero degrees to two zero degrees, one degree, and two degrees Leo. This is y'all. Cancer Leo Cusp. This is the most private homebody Leo out of any other Leo. See, Leos usually like to pop out and show out, flex or be in the spotlight or in the limelight or just show off and and just be out and about, right? Fire signs type shit. Um, but if you're a Cancer Leo cusp, com you compared to other kinds of Leos and different deacons and shit, you're, you're the one that will probably be the... the the one that will pop out less. That's not saying that you don't like to pop out and and, and, and express yourself and, and and be out and about and show out, <clears throat> but um, you know, come out during the day like the sun do, because you still got that Leo energy. But since you're half Leo, half Cancer, it's like half Moon, half Sun energy, half half Yin, half Yang energy, half internal, half external energy. So like, you have to really be in a certain mood to even want to pop out in the first place. Keyword mood, because you're a Cancer Leo cusp. So y'all y'all are the most private homebody Leos. Y'all gonna pop out the least when it comes to when compared to other kinds of leos but you still like to pop out when in the right mood um now another thing about about this leo this is the the shy the shyest out of all other leos or let me not say the shyest the more in the more quote unquote introvert or more to self out of any other kind of leo because you're half cancer half leo uh, you know cancer likes to keep to the self it's more private uh so you might not be as expressive as other Leos because you're a Cancer Leo cusp. Like I said, it's not just about stepping out the house, but also when it comes to expressing yourself, sometimes you may not always want to express yourself. Sometimes you may want to keep it to yourself as a Cancer Leo cusp. You feel me? Y'all, this is how y'all could be the the more shy, the more shyer uh, Leos, or not shyer, but the more because that's more of a weak spirit trait, but more more to self, more quote unquote introvert Leo. Now, if you're a Cancer Leo cusp, I wouldn't be surprised if you had a very decorative crib because Cancer rules the fourth house in the home um, in your private quarters. So if you're a Cancer Leo cusp, like I said um, in the last Cancer video, when I did the Cancer, the, can the same thing, Cancer Leo cusp, but for the late degrees of Cancer, like I said in that video, um, y'all could have a very decorative crib, probably have a very popping colorway furniture or whatever. Uh just just different shit in your crib that 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 makes it stand out or pop out or make it more flashy or more decorative uh you being a, a leo cancer cusp don't, i wouldn't be surprised if that was the case for some of y'all you feel me so have a very decorative crib uh now the most creative leo i will say this is it cancer leo cusp Shout out to the pilot man, Archangel Uriel. I've heard him say one time that the Cancer Leo cusp is exalted in Neptune, the planet of imagination and creativity and shit like that. So, um, um, I don't know ex the which degree exactly, but um, according to Uriel, yet yeah, that's what it is. Um, Cancer Leo cusp exalted in in Neptune, and, and I could and I yeah I could see how that could be because. When you really think about it, um, 
cancer rules the heart space and the internal and to tap into your internal and your own imagination and your own energies within that's something that cancer could do really well because it, it, it rules the heart space internally leo is just brave enough and courageous enough to express that and, 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 and that's why Leo can be seen as creative, keyword, seen as creative, because they have no problem expressing that creativity, right? And it comes off entertaining and eye-popping and eye-catching, attention-grabbing and all that shit, because that's how Leos can be really creative, right? But to do that, though, you got to tap into the heart space and within first. If you're just a copying-ass Leo, you're not that creative, right? So you got to know how to tap within. This is why I be saying... um. The most creative Leo, or not just me, but a couple other astrologers too, will, will say that the most creative Leo is the Cancer Leo cusp, because they're, you're able to tap in within to that heart space and that and, and, and that uh, internal world of imagination, and then that's the Cancer part, and then you could express it in a creative and entertain, entertaining, attention grabbing way. That's the Leo part. You feel me? That's part of the 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 transition from cancer to leo when we transition from cancer to leo season we start we we become so comfortable within that we are now able to express it and have the heart and courage to do so so that's why i think that um the most creative leo is the cancer leo cusp if now that's up not if if y'all want to have that up for debate and, and oppose it leave a comment telling me why you think you don't think that's the most creative Leo. You might think it's the second Deacon Leo with the Sag energy or maybe the first Deacon Leo with the Leo Leo energy. You might argue that, no, that's the most creative, but I think that it's the Cancer Leo cusp. You feel me? So now another thing to take in consideration about the Cancer Leo cusp, um, y'all can be the most emotional Leos though on a negative end, on a low octave end. Y'all could be very overdramatic and sensitive narcs and think that the whole world revolves around your feelings as a Cancer Leo cusp. Cancer being the feelings part and then the Leo part being, you know, um, the fixed fire and being closed minded enough to only think that it's all about your character and shit like that. So, but y'all could be very emotional about it. This is the sensitive narc. On a low octave end for the Cancer Leo cusp, y'all 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 more narkish than other Leos, but in an emotional way. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that go. Um, on a high octave end to end it on a high octave end though, um, Cancer Leo cusp, y'all have charismatic gifts that can move people vibrationally. Y'all might y'all might express some very um, moving poetry or some very moving speech for a cause or some shit that can move the hearts of people it's because you're that cardinal wire that cancer internal heart energy being expressed to the people or, or in a fixed wet or in a fixed um expression for people to look at and then depending on how people react and feel about that you can move them vibrationally if you do it from the heart genuinely uh as a cancer leo cusp y'all have that ability y'all have like a charismatic like i could i could imagine a cancer leo cusp being uh and this could play out on a high octave and low octave way a high octave way someone who's who genuinely means what they say and you believe them too because you can see they're sincere about it on a low octave that's the cancer leo cusp you can see the energy in that on a low octave end, if you're like a manipulative politician who knows how to play that energy but not really feel that energy and you're not genuine about it, you could still move a crowd because you have that alignment to know the right shit to express to move the vibrations a certain way. You feel me? Uh, that's the Cancer Leo cusp. Uh, let me go ahead. So now let's go ahead and get into the first Deacon Leo. That's the end of the Cancer Leo cusp, y'all. That's all I have to say for that. There's probably more I could say, but that's all I have for now. Um, now we about to jump into the first Deacon Leo. This is three degrees to nine degrees Leo. We about to talk about y'all now. If y'all have, if any of y'all have any th Leo and alignments that are three degrees to nine degrees, this is for. Oh shit! Drop my fucking pen, my Benjamin. This this segment of the video is for y'all. 
And if anybody want to put time stamps, go ahead. I don't feel I'm not going to put it though. I'm too lazy for that shit. Or I'm not lazy. Um, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm a cancer ass Sunday head ass. See, that's that narc shit. <coughs> <coughs> Cancers, Leos, <coughs> and Virgos. <coughs> the whole summer season. <coughs> Narc energy. <coughs> and at the center of it all, in the middle of summer, Leo. <laughs> all right, y'all. So, first Deacon Leo. Three degrees to nine degrees. We about to get into y'all. Now, this kind of Leo, especially for my sun, moon, and ascendance, if you got three to nine degrees Leo, I mean, three to nine degrees Leo, this is the most flamboyant Leo, the most expressive too, not just dressing apparel wise and just looks and physical aesthetics, but also, uh, uh, but very, very uh, eye grabbing and attention grabbing too. Not no plain shit. Like y'all like really dress in very uh, colorful or attention grabbing ways and patterns and shit like that. You feel me? So this is the most flamboyant Leo, the most expressive too. <coughs> when it comes to how the, how they express themselves, like like they could probably have a very cartoonish or or entertaining character you feel me this is the leo with the most entertaining character just how they talk and how they speak or how they say shit or how they express themselves in general how they move how they act how they walk it's like a, a certain character to it that could stand out stand out from others you feel me on a low octave end you could be seen as someone who's flunked out who's trying too hard for to, for attention on a high octave end you could just be seen as a as a entertaining character that pe that that that's a whole lot of fun to be around type shit. <laughs> if you care about that type of shit, <laughs> nah, Leos do, especially the, this deacon. Um, but yeah, this Leo is the best at getting attention. Um, and they could use that attention for whatever they want: high octave and low octave reasons. It don't matter, high octave reasons or low octave reasons. But they, this kind of Leo is the best at getting attention. If you want like the best deacon of Leo for like pure showmanship or just like someone to host something and to carry a show or something and to, ha and to keep an entertaining character throughout it all, look for a Leo with uh, first deacon Leo, three to nine degrees. You feel me? So that's y'all. Y'all the Leo Leos, y'all y'all the 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 the, 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 the Leo Leos, the, the Leo Deacon, the first Deacon. Y'all know how it is with the first Deacon of every sign. They're just the most like like the first Deacon of 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 Aries is the most Aries like. The the first Deacon of 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 Taurus is the most Taurus like. The the it's like the the first Deacon is like the pure energy of that sign. So there's not really much to say about y'all. Yeah, that's kind of how that go. Yeah, on a low octave and too though, y'all could be very close minded. Cause y'all, it's like double fixed fire. So it's like, it's like, it's unlike. Uh, I mean, y'all. I mean, actually, I take that back. Um, y'all close minded, but probably not as not as close minded as the third deacon Leo, which I will explain later. But anyway, let's not get too ahead of myself. But but yeah, y'all would be second though, in my opinion, when it comes to that shit. Now, let's jump into the second Deacon Leo. This is the Sag Deacon. This is for all my, my Leo alignments out there, especially Sun, Moon, and Ascendants. If, the, if you have those energies, 10 degrees to 19 degrees. This is for y'all. The second Deacon Leo, the Sagittarius Deacon. Let's get into it. So... The first thing I want to bring up about the second deacon Leo, the Sagittarius deacon, 10 degrees to 19 degrees. First thing I want to bring up, y'all are the most likable Leos. 
Why do I say that? Why you say that, Mooney Mercury baby? Why is this Leo the most likable? Because they, they got mutable energy. You feel me? This the Sagittarius deacon. So even though the second deacon is technically the fixed deacon, um, the middle deacon, since Leo is a fixed sign itself and it starts off like that, that all, all fixed uh de uh all fixed signs looking at the deacons the, the the second deacon is the mutable portion so it's the sagittarian uh deacon of leo so this is the the mutable fire of leo the the, the, the jupiterian leo the more likable leo because they're more mutable to other people's perspectives this is the most open-minded leo you're going to get this is actually low-key the the least narcissistic leo you feel me the less self-centered because they're more tapped into that mutable energy of being aware of other people's uh thoughts and emotions and feelings but that's not to say that they that they still can't be narky because you may you may be narky in, in like a religious or spiritual way like a like a religious narc or a spiritual narc where you think you know what's best for everybody and shit and you're fixated on that shit like i could see like a met like this type of energy to perfectly describe it and sum it up into a 3d character this is like a mega church superstar preacher who nobody can tell him shit. He thinks that Jesus Christ for everything and there is nothing, nothing can debate him and his Lord and Savior because he, he, his Lord and Savior got him this mega church and all these billions and, and he's, he's, he's as big as Joel Osteen and his ego is humongous and he thinks that he knows it all because God gave him everything that the Masons of fucking are using him as a puppet for or some shit. So like this, that's the low octave end of how they could be, an, of how this deacon could be a, a narc in a religious spiritual way where they they or they just might blame everything on god type shit like shout out to pilot man like, like like he would say you feel me but yeah um but yeah the, the but on a high octave and if the spirit is aware enough or a high octave enough spirit if they're spiritually inclined enough if you have this energy you're more likely to be the more open-minded leo least self-centered and all that type of shit you're more mutable you're a more mutable leo um this is also the leo with the most courage why do you say that moody mercury baby what makes the second deacon leo the, the leo with the kind of leo with the most courage why isn't that the first deacon because um think about it i say that the second deacon leo is the leo with the most courage because sagittarius is ruled by what new experiences the ninth house north node energy um uh shit even chiron energy and making mistakes and learning from that shit so since sagittarius is the the it, this is the sag deacon of the uh, of leo the the second deacon um i think that this is the leo with the most courage because this kind of leo won't have no no problem going for going out there and experiencing new things and, and just trialing and erring shit and putting themselves out there like that like no, not caring even if they come out as a fool now the third deacon leo the aries deacon leo is kind of similar it's a similar energy too but um i'm gonna say that it's i'm gonna say that the the one of the most courage specifically is the second deacon leo the sagittarian one because like well courage is a martian thing that you have to have passion and motivation for so i guess you could say that the third deacon leo is at competition for the most courage with the second deacon second deacon leo but the second deacon leo has like some sort of um internal spiritual courage i guess you could say or some shit like that while the aries deacon the third deacon leo has more of a raw passionate courage or some shit like that either way the they both have that energy. I mean, all Leos do, even the first deacon and the the the, the, the Leo cuss. I mean, all Leo energy is going to have courage. But the reason why I believe that the second deacon Leo has the most courage is because they actually search for new experiences. You feel me? Versus the other de other deacons of Leos, I don't think they're going to be searching for new experiences like the like the second deacon Leo would because of that Sagittarian influence. That's just how I see it, though. That's up for debate, though. 
if anybody want to debate and be like, nah, the third deacon, Leo, the Aries deacon is more, has more courage because if they have the willpower, they can go through with anything. Hey, that that's very um, plausible. You feel me? And that's a very good argument. And speaking of the third deacon, let's segue right into that. This is the 20, 20 degrees to 27 degrees uh, Leos. This is for y'all, the third deacon, Aries deacon. Um, so like I was saying, y'all, y'all the most passionate Leo. Y'all, y'all have the willpower to, to, to express yourself passionately and, and the willpower to, to go for a, a vision that you see that you're fixated on. This is the most passionate Leo. Um, now it's pretty powerful because this deacon is pretty powerful with willpower because willpower deals with the sun and Mars. So the third deacon Leo being influenced by Aries, uh, uh, the Martian Leo, the more uh, passionate Leo, this, this Leo is, man, this, but also that's all the high octave shit, shit, but on a low octave end, this Leo could also really get angered easily or crash out and express it uh, and express themselves in a very uh, sometimes overly aggressive way. You feel me? So that's like the low octave natures of being a passionate Leo. Um, you're you're less pressured from the external. This type of Leo don't really care too much about being liked as much as the other Leos because this is the Aries Deacon. Keep in mind, Aries don't give a fuck about being liked. It's the opposite from Libra and shit like that. So they get less pressure from the external. This is like the least pressured Leo from the external. This is actually the realest Leo because they're, they're more focused on their individual expression and their individuality. They don't like pandering as much as the other Leos. They will still show love and, and pander because that's part of the Leo energy. They like to show love to those who are loyal to them. They're big on that loyalty shit. Um, but, you know, the third deacon Leo really is more about being an individual and sticking true to who you are. You feel me? This is the realest Leo. Along with the Virgo Leo cusp too, and we'll get to that last. But um, yeah, that's just the transition to the, the transition as we get to the later degrees of Leo. The earlier degrees of Leo and the middle degrees of Leo is more about being liked, while the later degrees of Leo is more about not giving a fuck about being liked anymore type shit. Um... It's more about having an original character as well with the third deacon in Leo. You feel me? Um, cardinal shit. Initiating your own character for the, you're the first one to do it type shit. So if you're a 20 to 27 degrees Leo, third deacon, you have abilities to spark and cardinal initiate original characteristics and original characters. You feel me? Whether you want to create a character for something or a characteristic for yourself. You feel me? So that y'all have that ability um, to, to do to be the first at doing those types of things, making original characters and characteristics um, on a low octave. end, though, for third Deacon Leo's, y'all could be the most selfish, most self-centered, most narcissistic Leo's because it's cardinal. There's a reason why I told y'all earlier that the first deacon, I don't think that's the most selfish or the most narcissistic. I actually think it's the third deacon because you're dealing with Aries cardinal fire traits. Remember, cardinal energy is all about leading and being your own leader and initiating shit even if you got to separate from a, from a group to do your own thing. That's all Aries, right? So, of course, that energy combined with Leo's fixed fire on the third deacon, you could have the most selfish, most self-centered, narcissistic type of spirits, um, or at least the, this kind of Leo on a low octave end, as a, as a low octave spirit. Obviously, I'm not saying if you have this the, these degrees or the, or this energy that you're like that. If you're a high octave spirit, you don't have those issues. But the low octave, more demonic humans, they will have these issues, um, in, if they have this energy in their natal chart, especially their sun. You feel me? Or maybe something like their uh, their Venus or some shit. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's that. Um, or even your uh, uh Mar, yeah, or even Mars or some shit. Yeah, that's that. So that's the la that's the third deacon of Leo, twenty to twenty-seven degrees, and we gonna end it 
on the Leo Virgo cusp. The Leo Virgo cusp, 28 and 29 degrees Leo. This is for y'all, the Virgo Leo cusp, or the Leo Virgo cusp, I should say. <clears throat> this is for y'all to end it. Y'all pretty much half Virgo, half half Leo. Now, y'all are narcs too. Y'all y'all narcissistic too, but in a different way. Y'all the superficial narcs. Remember how I said the Cancer Leo cusp was the emotional narcs? Virgo Leo cusp is like the superficial narc where they're narcissistic for mental reasons. Like, oh, um, I'm going to do this as an earth element thing to get attention from, react from society because I think, Mercury, Virgo, that this is how you should be seen type shit. So, yeah, Leo Virgo cusp, y'all could low-key be super very superficial um because you're like half leo half virgo our virgo still an earth element sign earth element is earth is all about material and shit so y'all like the more superficial leos you feel me be careful on a low octave end of that um but on a high octave end though y'all got y'all got the most on point style y'all know how to match the best out of any other leos when it comes to your style and your swag and shit and what you're showing off Another good thing about the Leo Virgo cusp is y'all y'all ve you have very very detailed creativity. With the power of Virgo's de uh, ability to pay attention to details, mixed with Leo's raw uh, creativity in general, you have the power to make very detailed art, very detailed paintings with a lot of details in it, or very detailed music with a lot of layering to it and a lot of sounds to it and a lot of. Uh, things done on purpose you feel me like very detailed shit with intent um this is a very detailed creativity uh, an ability that y'all leo virgo cusp can tap into <laughs> um now another thing about y'all uh y'all have the ability to improve charisma and your character more than others if you're spiritually accountable enough as a spirit on a high octave end this is not for all of y'all but if you're spiritually accountable enough and a strong enough spirit you're if you're a leo if you're a leo virgo cusp you have the ability to improve not only your charismatic gifts and your charisma and your character more but um you're able to check your character more and so check your characteristics and and, and weigh and, and, and kind of compare and see compare and contrast and use that mutable earth virgo shit to like to to practicalize okay what characteristics do i want to still express or, or represent versus other characteristics that probably make you look like a a dick or a jackass or too much into yourself or something like that how can i you have better charisma type shit or develop your character more. What character flaws do you have? Ooh, keyword, character flaws. That's something that Leo Virgo cusps are big on. Character flaws. Character Leo, flaws Virgo. Y'all look for the flaws in all, all, everything. That's why Virgo is like the, the shadow work yin of Mercury and checking your own mind and the way you think. Um, Along with all that though, um leo virgo also deals with in my opinion the most pressure from the external on a low octave end if you're a low octave spirit with a leo virgo cusp you're going to deal with the most pressure from the external because not only do you have that that insecurity that that low octave leos tend to have but you will also have um that overly harsh judgment self-judging on yourself from the virgo energy so it will be like you will feel a lot of, you'll put a lot of pressure on not only yourself but you will let the external put hella pressure on you too with that leo virgo cusp energy so be careful don't let don't do that to yourself leo virgo cusps you feel me don't put so much pressure to your, on yourself don't overthink about how re people see you and shit like that leo virgo cusp on a low octave end now one last, I want to end it like this before I end this video. Leo Virgo Cusp, y'all also kind of low key the, the least likable Leos because that Virgo energy is still going to critique and criticize shit. It's kind of like the, the third deacon of, of, of Leo with the Aries influence of how I said that deacon don't care too much about, about being liked. It's the same with the Leo Virgo Cusp, but probably even worse because Virgo, remember, Virgo falls in, in Venus. Virgo has issues with being relatable and, and relatability and relatability and shit like that. So 
um, especially if you got Virgo and Venus or some shit like that. But my point is, um, unless unless you're a high octave spirit who knows how to do shadow work on these things, a low octave spirit, you're gonna be the least likable Leo because you're 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 always critic. You you may express you may express things that are uncalled for at the wrong time, wrong place, wrong time type shit. Like that's that's a Virgo issue, really. But as with the Leo Virgo cusp, it's like you you may tend to have a character that may express certain things, whether through body language or through verbiage that is just uncalled for, like critiquing shit that don't really gotta be critiqued. And this is what causes y'all. To, at least at that point, and that's more of a Virgo thing too. That's a low octave Virgo nature, where Virgos just are like the party poopers and will critique everything and just don't know how to keep certain things to themselves at certain times that are not really that relevant. Like, don't ruin the vibe type shit. Um, this is how y'all could be the least likable Leos because y'all have no problem still calling shit out and being real, like the third deacon Leo. But the thing is, y'all y'all tend to criticize the flaws of shit though. That's the Virgo aspect of it. So with that being said, y'all y'all are like the least likable Leo. But at the same time, y'all don't give a fuck too much about being liked as much as the other Leos. You feel me? I mean, you 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 actually no no I, uh cap that that's false. I I, me I meant to say the third deacon don't care about that shit because they got that Aries raw energy of self. The, the, remember, Virgo still self critiques itself. So y'all, y'all, y'all gotta be careful because you could pressure. If you're the least likable, you may take that too harshly and 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 too, and you may take that to the heart and overthink about it and overly criticize yourself. So I take that back. Leo Virgos do care a little bit about being liked, maybe not as much as the as the, but but they're but they still they still uh. Um, but it's still uh, No spirit should give a fuck about being liked in general anyway You feel me? Leo or not But just to say Just, just to point that out I don't want to make it seem like that's something to even give a fuck about But um, I'm just saying the energies for how it could play out though You may overthink about that type of shit With a Leo Virgo cusp You feel me? So don't even do that Because uh, Leo or not just uh, the, uh, For all of y'all Just some spiritual game Who Fuck being liked you feel me? Or who gives a fuck about that shit? Just be you genuinely and take into, you can take into consideration other people and whatnot, but you don't have to care about necessarily being liked, though, as long as you just you. You feel me? And, and as long as you like yourself and you respect yourself and you remind yourself of other people that res that you respect, too, then okay, that's, that's all good, is all cool. Just some extra esoteric wisdom for y'all leos and that and the leo energy and shit like that but anyway y'all that's all i had to say for this one this is the the uh the deacons and cusps leo astrology um part five of my deacons and cusp series on on the leo portion of it and i'm gonna end it like that peace <laughs>